Hey, what's good fam? It's your boy DJ9, and today we're doing a product review on this bad boy. I'm excited for this one. It's the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8. Stay tuned. Now before I go on with this review, you guys know the drill. Like down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, all right? Yeah. Yorkville, you done did it again with this one. Man, you guys did it. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't already know, Yorkville products, they're all made in Canada. And of course, me being from Toronto, Canada, we have access to all the Yorkville products firsthand. I've had so many Yorkville products and I still have Yorkville speakers. Amazing quality. You guys gotta check out Yorkville. Shout outs to Yorkville for keeping it real. You guys make me proud to be Canadian, all right? And if you don't already know, now you guys know. Now the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8 is a battery powered PA speaker. It has an eight inch woofer and it boasts of 200 watts of pure power. It has Bluetooth capabilities and is actually a three way speaker when other speakers in its class are only two ways. Now since the speaker is of a three way design, it allows the low end driver to really shine and optimize the low end frequencies which I think makes the biggest difference in the speaker and makes it really, really loud. So the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8 only weighs an amazing 17 pounds and is made specifically for DJs, presenters, fitness instructors, street performers, bands for their PAs or their monitors, and anyone who wants to listen to music anywhere, in the park, on the beach, in their backyard, not having to worry about power or plugging it in. So as I mentioned before, this is a battery powered speaker and uh, the battery can last up to five and a half hours on max volumes and up to 24 hours at moderate or low volumes, which is pretty crazy for a powered speaker. And it only takes two to three hours to fully charge the battery. Let's take a closer look at the design of the speaker and uh, the back mixer section. Looking at the front of the speaker, we have a nice black painted metal grill along with the Yorkville logo right at the bottom. Now looking at the top of the actual unit, there is a ergonomic handle that's there so you can carry it around very easily. The rest of the body is made of a hard plastic. Okay, so we move the unit onto its side. This is the mixer section. And as you can see, the buttons and knobs are all recessed into the unit so there's no accidents like hitting the knob and changing volumes or anything. It's a three channel mixer with line levels. You can change the line levels on each of them. It has shape so you can actually change the shape of this playback music or your vocals. Channel number one and two also have reverb on them which work really well for karaoke. Channel number two is the instrument channel and uh, here this button actually you press it and then the guitar will light up and then it'll be perfect for instruments. This notch knob is there for feedback suppression. Channel number three, which is also the aux, controls the aux from there, and then also doubles up for the Bluetooth as well. If you're in Bluetooth connection with the speaker, um, you control the volume from here. Battery indicator level to see how much battery you have left on it. Power button to turn on the unit. The master volume is for everything. It'll control everything all at the same time. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over so you can see all the inputs. Okay, so channel one, two, and three, they're all combo jacks, so XLR and quarter inch. You can use them both. There is also phantom power on this unit. When you use XLR, it activates the phantom power and it'll be able to, to select it and see if you're using a condenser mic. So that's pretty cool. Now you have your main output. So if you want to connect to another speaker or a sub or something and your main input, this is for your DJ system or another uh, music playback if you want, right? Uh, right here is the power to plug in your IEC cable 
And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show the four ways you can actually use this unit. So you can have it straight up and down. Next, you can actually tilt it up towards you. Next, you can have it on its side as a wedge or a monitor. And four, of course, you have a hole on the bottom of the speaker so you can mount it on a speaker stand as well. Now you can connect two of these units together via Bluetooth and have the ideal stereo sound. And then they also have an EXM line of battery powered speakers, which the Mobile 8 being the newest, they also have the EXM Mobile, the EXM Mobile Sub, and the EXM Mobile 12. Now you can also um, link to any of those cabinets via Bluetooth with this system as well, which is pretty cool. Oh yes, daddy. All right, so here's, we're checking the microphone. Now when it's dry, check, 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 check one, two, check one, check two. I can't hold back, I'm in love with you. Uh. All right, so right now we're checking the microphone, clarity, um, the reverb is on, and we're on channel number two. Check, check, one, two, one, two, microphone check. I'll try to show you each and every way I can, now and forever. So there you have it guys, that was the sound test of the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8. This thing is amazing, it gets really really loud, like it lives up to its 200 watts for sure. Um, I know you guys can't really hear it that well on the microphone, but the bass response on this is amazing. I love how just out of the box, it already sounds good on its own. Like you don't have to tweak it much to make it sound good. It has that Yorkville sound I'm telling you. And I have the JBL Eon 1 Compact, which I think is an amazing speaker on its own as well, right? But this kind of blows it out of the water uh, in terms of how loud it can get and uh, the clarity and stuff too, right? So if I would have found this, I might have picked this up instead, right? But um, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the JBL Eon 1 Compact and the Yorkville EXM Mobile 8. So look out for that. One design flaw that I have on this is the power button and how easily you can turn it on and just the location of it, right? Obviously, you're gonna have a bag or something to protect this when you're taking it out on gigs. When you have it in that bag, you're not gonna be able to see that it's on and when you're transporting it and you hit the button accidentally, um, it's on and it's draining, right? And hopefully it's not totally drained when you actually need it, <laughs> uh, which would be a nightmare, but you know, I, the, the battery lasts long enough. So I, I, I'm thinking that it, it wouldn't make much of a difference, but just being able to hit it easily, it just bothers me, <laughs> right? So I didn't like that about the power button, but other than that, 
it's an amazing system. I totally, totally recommend this. It's literally the best uh, in its class right now, in my opinion. Hope you guys like this review. If you guys liked it, please give this video a big like, thumbs up, and if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. A lot more gear reviews coming your way. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is DJ Knight signing off.